hey it's mariah welcome back to bnmd if you're new here thanks for tuning in if you're old here welcome back today i'm just gonna talk to y'all about my letter of my letter writers who's writing my letter recommendation basically and um this is a part of applying to medical school so i just wanted to document what i have so far it is june 5th at 8 15 a.m and my application is still not sent yet i'm taking my time it is what it is um june is still pretty early though i'll i <clears throat> the program i'm in wants me to submit them by june 26th so i'll be submitting it by then for sure which is still pretty early and i have most of my letters of recommendation ready to go it's just me fixing my application and then of course money is an issue because you have to pay but I digress. So I have six letters of recommendation and I feel like that is a lot, but that's okay because it's more than I had the first time and I feel like I'm in a good position. So the first one is, should I say their names? I'm not gonna say their names for safety. First one is my undergraduate professor slash research coordinator slash work supervisor because I did a work study. I'm missing anything. I don't think that's about it. Um, I felt like his letter is going to be great. I don't know what it is, but I worked in a lab with him for two years. No, three years. And at first I took his class and I worked in a lab with him. And I just as undergraduate assistant and I was helping grad students do their research. And then I asked for more responsibilities. They felt like I could handle it. They gave me my own project and the project was geared towards the book that he publishes, which is it like every two or three years and it's just updating Texas on the mammals that are here. So yeah, my project was on pocket covers. That's besides the point. The point is that he knows me very well. I feel like his letter of recommendation would be very strong because he knows me very well. He knows my work ethic. He knows my goals and he was more than happy to write it. He also wrote me a letter of rec for graduate school and now med school <clears throat> so he's great and I've known him for a long time so that was since 20 2016 maybe okay the next letter of recommendation is coming from or came from my graduate professor also graduate um, advisor yes so she has two roles and um, of course I knew her for a year because I was in grad school for a year because that's how long the program was but I made an A in her class she was really nice um and she's my grad advisor so like every month we had to meet with them and talk about how the program's going like any concerns what she recommends you know this class is coming up next and then we also had to do a board certification after that program so she was very influential in that as well and um yeah just very supportive so um Yes, and those both came from, so undergrad institution and graduate institution. What else? <clears throat> so after I graduated from grad school, I I took some post back courses at community college in Houston called San Jack. And the first one I took was Bio 1. I was in a TA, but I would help her in the classroom like with my like my group specifically like i guess i was like the leader because i knew a lot of the stuff i would help the, the next few groups so it was kind of like a mini ta but like unofficially official you know what i mean you know what she noticed that i had a good grasp on the bio concepts and i told her it's like my third time taking it i'm trying to get in med school that she was like oh wow you know i told her my whole story and she was like well you know Shout out to you. I hope you do well. Let me know if you need any help or anything. Or if you need a letter of recommendation, I'd be happy to write it for you. I was like, well now, use your game. I mean, she also wanted to recommend me for the honors program at San Jack, but I told her I wasn't full time and actually didn't have the GPA to meet it. So, but it's okay. But she thought enough of me to want to recommend me for that program. <clears throat> but that was a good experience. Um, and I only knew her for, you know, that semester, but we still kept in contact, even to this day. Some people may think that's not good because 
It came from a community college professor. I personally don't think it matters. If they know you and they know what you're capable of, go for it, you know? Quality is really important. And I feel like she probably wrote a really strong letter of recommendation. So that's just me. Um, but you know, honestly though, when I take her letter and I compare it to everybody else that I have now, it's like, hmm, what stands out? What holds more weight? Ugh, you know, and I don't know what they say, so it's hard. Um, but I'll go on and then you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. So that's three so far. And so that's three science professors, um, one from undergrad, one from grad, one from post back, DIY post back. Um, yes. And so I think that covers the science professors type of like letters. The fourth one is coming from my supervisor at work. What I'm saying here is that the supervisor that was writing my letter worked with me a year ago from July 2020 to July 2021. And obviously it's past that and I've transferred to a new station, but we still work at the same company. So I just wanted to make the point that it's okay to get someone who you worked with, you know, in the past or six months ago or something like that. And she's really nice. Uh, we get along very well. She knows my work ethic. She knows I care about patients and everything I do at work, everything I do outside of work. So she can speak on me, um, speak on my characteristics inside and outside of work and time management, how I balance them. Um, yeah, she was great. Um, so she's writing it. I already did write it. So shout out to her. Um, but um, I was told that you should have more recent letters and that reflect what you've been doing and who you've become. And so when I look back, you know, it's 2022, I graduated undergrad in 2018, okay? From an undergrad perspective, but I mean, probably not, you know, because I don't know. And then the graduate um, advisor sp was speaking on me from a graduate perspective, which was, you know, so I graduated in 2018 from undergrad, 2019 from grad school. And, oh, and then the post back professor, which was, I would say also from 2019 because I took it fall 9, 20, 2019 and I've been working full time since then. So yeah, this uh, new letter from my supervisor is more recent. <clears throat> now it's 2022. So that's about three years. Yeah, it's about three years down the road. Med schools are gonna want a more recent letter to tell who you are. You know what I mean? Like they don't even know if you're in still contact with that person, if you're the same if you hold the same values anymore. So that's why I've been advocating for newer letters. The fifth person is um, a volunteer coordinator. Um, once I started the program at Baylor College of Medicine, we were required to volunteer every month to uh, keep us consistent with volunteering. You could choose whatever you wanted. Um, and so I chose the system way and I chose to tutor with them. And so <clears throat> it's actually been a really great experience and I love it. Um, I'm probably still gonna do it even when I'm not in the program anymore. But part of the reason I did sign up was because they were saying if you volunteered more than 10 hours, then you would, they would write you a letter of recommendation. So I was like, mm, doo -doo -doo. it is time. And last but not least, we have a letter of recommendation from the Baylor College of Medicine program, the post program that I'm in right now. Um, that I, It's not a committee letter from my understanding. It's one of the <clears throat> administrators, which would be, I'm not gonna say their names, but the program director or like the program coordinator. That's a good one. Yeah, coordinator and then like their assistant, I guess. So it's either one of them. From my understanding, I guess they kind of choose who knows who better, um, but they know us. They know us for a year. <clears throat> they basically the program, the application to get into this program was like medical school application. So I feel like they know us pretty well. Um, we've had to present in front of them. We've had to would um, write a whole bunch of reflections, just talk. Um, to them and to the presenters while they're in the room. So yeah, I feel like they know us pretty well. Um, but who it's coming from, I'm actually not sure. One of my classmates said that they sent their request to like the program 
just the program, the program's email. And it was like managed by, you know, the, the lady, like the assistant, but it actually came from the program director as one person. So I don't know. We'll see um, how my letter comes out, <clears throat> but it should be strong. That was a part of the the whole program is that, you know, they're going to get you ready for med school and write you a letter recommendation. Kind of like it's like they're just giving it to you, you know, freely. Um, I'm also a COE scholar, so yeah, I feel like I feel like it should be good. I was back and forth with it because I was like, I don't know. I, I don't feel like we're besties enough. Like I want somebody to write my letter who is who knows me and that honestly I don't even have to ask like they're like oh yeah yeah let me know or they we're just kind of casual we get to the point where we're casually talking about life and I'm like yeah find a med school and like oh my gosh find a med school do you want a letter of rec like they're offering it like I'm telling you the first three the first four letters that I mentioned undergrad grad post back and supervisor basically like told me hey when you when you're ready to apply i'll write you a letter like let me know i'm more than happy you know and like when i was like kind of on the way out like hey if you ever need reference let me know let me know how med school you know what i'm saying i want that type of rapport and i want them to genuinely write it so the volunteer and the school i was kind of like mm. I don't know y'all and like I want to know y'all you know but then again when I think about it I'm like I guess we spent a year together um volunteering re stop <clears throat> when I think about it I'm like I guess we spent a, a year together volunteering and researching and going back and forth just interacting you know so I guess so right and they said they would so it's like let me just take advantage of what you know what God has given me so that, those are my letter writers. Hopefully this video isn't too long. Now, so I have six letters. I do feel like I'm in good shape. I would love, 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 love a letter of recommendation from a physician. That would be mwah, perfect. And it's the seven, it's the number of completion. I'm a Christian, so the number, the number seven is important or means a lot to me as a Christian. Um, so, Ugh, that's really the only thing I feel like I'm missing. If I don't have it, it is what it is. I'm not gonna trip. I think I'm in great shape, and um, I'm not. I'm not tripping. I think these people know me well, and that I'll have a good. They're vouching for me, you know. I have people that are in my corner and that really want me to do well. So I'm not gonna worry about not having a physician letter. But it, if all means, by all means, if you can get one, get one. I think these are good letters. I think these are just more than enough. What else can I say? Oh, using, and just really quickly, I will be using Interfolio for my letters of recommendation. Um, I think okay, I could probably make a separate video on that, on like my, what my account looks like and how I use it. But it's basically like a middleman, right? Between you, the letter writers, and application slash school. Here you are, here are your letter writers, and here's the application system. When you don't have Interfolio, not here, you would each contact, I mean, you would contact each letter writer that you need a letter from. That's six different emails, you know, six different people to manage, six different schedules. And then say they all say yes, right? Six different yeses, yay for you. That means six different people now have to send their letter all the way to the application system. That's a lot to manage. And now you also have to go check and make sure all this is in there. You know what I'm saying? Very, very stressful. And say you want to do it again, or it doesn't work, or you want to send it to another program. Now you have to do the same thing again. That's too much. So you have interfolio all you'll have to do is say hey letter writer will you write my letter they'll say yeah sure and then you send them a request through interfolio all they do is now send their letter back to interfolio 
And now you have six different letters holding themselves at interfolio. And as soon as you're ready to send it here, all you do is say, hey, interfolio, send it over here. And now all your letters can be sent to wherever you need them to go. Maybe even another application. You can even send it there or there or there or there or wherever you need it to go. But interfolio is your friend and has everything you need. It re reduces stress for you, for the letter writers, and it gets your, um, what do you call it? It gets your letters to the application system within like 24 hours, I would say. It may depend on the application system and who's processing it, but Interfolio is immediate. So it's like a little nesting egg. What am I saying? It's like a little holding area for all your letters. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna make a separate video about what, um, what can I say? About um, letter of people who should write your letter of recommendation, where they should come from, and what they should possibly talk about. But that's going to be a separate video. This was more so for me documenting my journey, my application process, because I'm applying this year in 2022 for the fall 2023 admissions. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to do. Six letters of recommendation, three science professors, volunteer coordinator supervisor and then program director perhaps for my current program so we'll see how it goes um keep me lifted yeah thanks for tuning in that's all i had to say um i'll be hopefully making some more videos now that the program's slowing down and application is ramping up so i can document and show y'all more stuff okay bye